to Atlanta Live. I am Pastor E. John Citizen with my lovely wife, Nikita Citizen. We are the pastors of the Spirit Life Church of God located in Potter Springs, Georgia. Tonight we have some fantastic guests. But we're sitting here on the music set. I don't want to take away any of your time. Pastor McFarland, how you doing, my I'm friend? I'm doing wonderful. Hello, how are now, you All tonight? the way from Stockbridge, Georgia. Stockbridge, Georgia. Now, now I know you're going to sing in just a minute, but yes, God has been doing something dynamic in your ministry in Stockbridge. Amazing. Come on, give us, give us a little insight of what's going on. Well, God has been blessing us in a tremendous way with growth in our church, and now we've expanded. Uh, we have our own record label, and uh, I'm the first artist on the label, so <laughs> we're doing music as well now. Congratulations. Thank you. Now, what's the name of your church? Grace Baptist Church. Grace Baptist Church okay. in Stockbridge, Georgia. Stockbridge, Want to make sure we get that. Get it. All right, what's the website? <laughs> website is www.gracebaptistatl.org. Amen. Now, you're here tonight because you just put together a new uh, CD, or, or we used to call them LPs back in the day. <laughs> eight tracks. Eight tracks. <laughs> but regardless, it's music ministry. Exactly. And that's, I understand, it's your passion. And you're right, it is a ministry. It is. Uh, yeah. We are ministering the Word of God through music, and uh, it's an awesome medium that uh, God has blessed us to use to bless many, many people across the world. So we just released uh, our first project on the Graceway Music label entitled Graceway Music Trusting label. God. Trusting Amen. God. Yes. All right. Now, this new label that y'all put together, how was that inspired? Well, it's vision driven. Everything we do at Grace is vision driven, and uh, God gave me the vision uh, to do that. Number one, it's uh, economic. Number two, it's ministry. And uh, it's uh, the driving force behind what we do. So tell me, what does your family mean to you? Everything. In fact, my lovely wife is in the audience uh, tonight. And her name and, is? Uh, Mrs. Tamara McFarland. Mrs. Tamara, First Lady Tamara McFarland. First Lady Tamara. How many kids we have? Two. Grown. And give them, give them, got to call them out because they're going to talk about you. and Dewana. So Clinton is your oldest? No, the oldest is Dewana. Dewana, okay. Uh -huh. Clinton is my namesake. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I got you. Now, so, so uh, what is it that you would like to accomplish? Um, well, your... everything we do is to the glory of God. Amen. So first of all, we want to make sure that the music uh, edifies uh, God, gives God the glory, gives God praise for everything that we do, and then hopefully draw people to Christ uh, through music. There are some who will not listen to spoken word, but they love music. Amen. And so, so talking about right. that, Let's talk about this new project you have. Mm -hmm. This new project was uh, entitled Trusting God. Trusting God. Now, mm -hmm. how, how does that come about? Give us a little background. Well, this year for our church is the year of trust. Okay. So we are focused in on that. Everything we do, we're talking about trust. I firmly believe that if we can push people to trust God, life will ultimately be better. Because you and, lean on God. Oh, my God. Yes, when you <laughs> well, you God. know, I hope that people would learn yes. that without him we can do nothing. Nothing. So and so what I do in our church every year, I give a certain focus uh, that we uh, dwell on the entire year and try to drill that into the minds of the people of God. Man. And so that translated into a music project. It did. Now, did you write these songs? Or? I wrote some, some, but I have a producer uh, okay. who did most of the work uh, for me, but we collaborated uh, as it relates to the kind of songs, the message. Uh, I would share with him what I want to convey uh, to my audience, and uh, he would uh, put it together. Now, where does and, this uh, talent come from? I know music is in your bones. I've it's been in doing your soul. It all my life. <laughs> Was it mama, daddy, uncle, both. auntie? Both. So uh, mom and dad both is still that, that love for music in you? Love for music. Uh, my dad, uh, he's going on to be with the Lord, but he was a pastor, and I was uh, his musician. Now, we want to put that website on the screen so everybody can get this project. Yeah. Because you, you sound like you're excited about it. Very. So you've put your heart, blood, and tears in this thing. Yes, indeed. So, so give us that website again. www.gracebaptistatl.org. So they can get that project at they that can website. They get the project or anything dealing with Clinton McFarland or Grace Baptist so Church. You, so your handle is Pastor Clinton McFarland. Yes. Now, now, give me a nugget about what particular song out of this project stands out that, that may be special to you. I know they're all special. Yeah. Yeah. I know they're all special. You got you, you got you one that, that really stands out that, that 
Well, there is a song, and I'll sing it tonight, entitled, I Want to See Jesus. It starts out by saying, it's not about me, but it's all about him. I'm living to see Jesus. Amen. And at this point in my life, I'm 51 years old, and God has blessed me in a magnificent way. Everything that I'm doing in life now is that I'm living to see him. Amen. Not worried about name, being in light, not That's worrying right. about fame or fortune. I'm living my life because Amen. I want to see him and see him And in that peace. is the greatest fortune right now. Hallelujah. There. Yes. So. Yeah. What does it profit a man? That's right. To gain the whole world, Amen. lose his soul. So, so with music, if you, because you pastor and this music is part of your, your fabric, mm -hmm. how does that spill into your, your, your ministry as far as, is music part of your sermons that you write or is it something that's differently motivated? Well, it, uh, it works interchangeably because I am a preacher who sing. <laughs> Amen. Okay. And that's why I was trying to drive to you. Yeah, because there's a yes. lot of preachers who can sing, mm -hmm. but they feel if they get into this music thing, they're kind of taken away from the preacher. Right, right. And I God want you to expound first. on that a little bit because <laughs> yes. I know it's a gift. It is a gift. It's an anointing. Really, though, I've been singing all of my life, all my life. Uh, for many, many years, when I first started preaching at the age of 23, I quit singing. And I did that because I did not want people to know me as a singer, but Amen. as a preacher. Because you want to highlight the pastor I first. I want to highlight that Jesus because first. that's paramount. Amen. And so right. uh, my dad, my dad told me, he said, son, remember, God gave you more than one that's gift. It. I would admonish you to use all of it for his glory Amen. and to edify the body of Christ. It is then that I went back to singing and then started recording at that time. Right. And so I incorporated incorporated all into what I do. That's, that's why I want to bring that, yeah. Pastor, because I know you love the word. Mm -hmm. And being a, a preacher of the gospel, that is, that, like you say, is paramount. But you have multiple giftings. And I wanted other pastors that may be struggling with that, that has that anointing. Because mm -hmm. you said the word anointing. Yes, indeed. Right. It is a gift, but it's an anointed gift. Yes, indeed. And there's a lot of people that won't take that spoken word. They won't come to the churches, mm -hmm. but they will hear your, that mm -hmm. CD. Yes, so indeed. we got about 30 seconds. Mm -hmm. Give us that website one more time. www.gracebaptistatl.org and you can get whatever you need dealing with Clinton McFarland. Now, I can't wait to hear you sing in just a few minutes. We're going to get I'm you get out of the way and let you do what you do best is, is sing tonight. And I know preaching is part of what you do, but, man, I'm excited to hear you sing. Thank you. And I tell you, thank you for coming to be with us tonight and be with thank our viewers tonight. Me. And I tell you, we're going to have a great time. Hallelujah. And welcome to Atlanta well, Live. Good, Amen. Yes. And we're going to get out of the way and go to the music, and we're going to let you do what you do best. Amen. Amen. All right.
And I wonder why All things ain't gotta be Gotta be the same, don't you know It can make a difference if we try And we can have a better life Let's work together Everybody and make a change. Let's change the world. Let's change the world. Oh, change the world. Let's change the world. We can do it. Let's change the world. Let's change the world. Oh, 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 oh. Let's, change. let's change the world. Take me to the bridge now.
McFarland. Pastor Clint McFarland, I tell you, that is awesome, awesome music. Tonight we have a great lineup for you. Here on the couch we have Miss Brenda. How you doing, girl? I am and welcome excited. to Atlanta Live. <laughs> Good to have you. Glad to be here. Hey, Amen. <laughs> Yes. Now, now, girl, you've been working with some organizations. You've been doing some things to empower parents. So I, I'm going to step back and let you tell your story. Tell us why you are here tonight at Atlanta Live. Hey, I am here to share information about this amazing and transformational program called the University for Parents. University for Parents. Yes, wow. it was founded by Susan Taylor, the former editor-in-chief of Essence Magazine. And our mission is to empower parents through education, inspiration, and support. Our major partners include the Urban League of Greater Atlanta, the Morehouse School of Medicine, and United Way. That's a powerhouse of, yes, of some partners it there. It is, along with about 60 other partners. So we are indeed a community collaborative. Oh, wow. Uh, what we offer our parents are free classes, free uh, childcare, free MARTA cards, and of course, free evening meals that are supplied by one of our churches called the Cascade United Methodist Church. Yes, and with. what they do is they hire a chef to pre prepare meals for oh, our wow. parents and their children so the parents don't have to go home and you know prepare dinner for their children after And the free classes. child care, that's amazing. Yes, it free is. water. That's right. Yeah, I mean, everything is free. <laughs> so so with, with you making it easy, for the parents to, to get the information they need. Absolutely, but we try to remove all barriers. So they can't say, yes. you know, I can't become, come because I don't have a babysitter, I don't have transportation. We remove all of those barriers. And what makes our program so unique is that we are very strong believers in giving people second chances. Amen. So we have a very strong restorative justice platform. We partner with the Office of the Solicitor General, and he refers or he mandates some of the low-level uh, offenders of, with misdemeanors to come to our program in lieu of being incarcerated. So you really um, cater to the least of these? Yes, the marginalized. Yeah. Absolutely, we do. And we get parents whose children who have been removed from the home, and they take our parenting classes, and many of them families go through uh, family reunification because of the work that we're doing for them. And that is just so inspiring now, to the see The University that. of Paris, where is that located at? Because you got me intrigued. I'm <laughs> telling you, you make me want to sign up right now and show up and get some of this great training you're talking about. Where yes. are you located? We're located inside of Providence Missionary Baptist Church. Which is? Which is on Benjamin Mays Drive. Okay. Uh, they have several classrooms and it's a perfect setting for our, for our classes and our child care as well. Now, how long has that program been in existence at that location? Well, uh, we've been there uh, about two years, so okay. we're piloting this program, and it's going to be replicated across the country. So you're looking for other churches in the Atlanta market or not just Atlanta? You, you uh, for now, Atlanta. We're going to nail it before we scale it across the country. Yes. So you might be looking to come to Potter Springs, so to speak. Perhaps. Hey, you have the funding. Church, Spirit Life Church, you got to be a great place. We got plenty of classrooms. Okay. Though. We okay. got plenty of classrooms, great parking, great facilities, and we have a kitchen that's to die for. Uh -huh. So we love to see that expand. Okay. So, so let's, let's, let's peel back the layers a little bit. As a parent, we come in. What can we expect? Well, when you come in, we'll encourage you to register. We'll show you the plethora of classes that we offer that include uh, parenting, fatherhood. Par uh, fathers need to know how to be responsible fathers. We offer graphic design, com basic computer skills, advanced computer skills. We also offer um, workforce development. The uh, Urban League hosts that class for us. But our niche, our major class, is a, an emotional wellness class called A New Way Forward. And I tell you, it is so transformational. Some of the brain trust in that, uh, in developing the curriculum, include Iyanla Van Zandt and Harry Belafonte, Dr. Barbara King. And this curriculum, one of the pillars it has is spirituality. Okay. So it really, really helps the parents to know that they have to believe 
in a higher power. We That's don't powerful. promote a specific yes. religion, but we really do encourage right. them to establish one, their faith. Right, because it's one thing that you have classes, but it's another thing to have spiritual classes. It's so important. Yes. So. That's the foundation right there. So in, in this process, do you find a lot of disconnect between the parent and the child, or sometimes it's the, the, the disconnect with the parent and addiction? Or? Yes, I'm glad you mentioned that. We do have some parents uh, who are addicted. We have parents who will willingly tell us about their mental health diagnosis. Mm -hmm. right. And what's so unique is the diversity of the parents in our program. We have some who are so marginalized. We have some with master's degrees, and they come in and they gel and they support each other. So we're That's really, awesome. really so excited. You're building community. About that. That's the term, absolutely. You're building, yes. uh, well, I'm, I'm hearing your heart, girl. Yes. I mean, you're building community, <laughs> but at the same time, you're individually helping based on my individual needs. Mm -hmm. We may come in as a couple, but mm -hmm. we have two different sets of needs. Yes. So you train me as a father. Uh -huh. or as a male, right? Uh, how to deal with me, but you also training the the mother or the or the mom how to deal with herself, but mm -hmm. collectively you're making the family unit stronger. Yes, and I'm that so glad awesome. you mentioned that because when they come in, each parent is assigned uh, an academic life coach, and they work with each parent in developing their personal goals, their education goals, and their family goals. And then they monitor them to ensure that they are successfully fulfilling those goals. So, and that builds hope. Yes, and yes. Confidence. It really like what does. You said that hope and confidence. Yes, yes. and yeah. even with our mandated uh, parent learners, there they have to come for 12 weeks. And when they finish their mandated time, many of them stay with us. Do they get a certificate? We're that family. Yes, they do oh, get a certificate. So you get awesome. something to show accomplishment. Yes, a certificate. And that, we have a rites of passage as well at okay. the end. Yes, oh, wow. and a graduation for those who earn 100 credits in our program. Okay, we, so wow. it's, it's a, it's a credit-based program. Yes, yes. It now, is. what about the court? Let, let separate that and talk about the court audit program. Okay, so the court audit program, that's one of our special programs. And so they only have to attend 12 weeks, but they do get a certificate. And even with this pilot program, we only had like a 3% recidivism rate. Really? Yes. So that's, that that's, is really that's big. Unusual. That's big. Yeah, it's that's working. Big. It really wow. is. So yes. now that, does that count like community service hours? No, no. It, it don't count. Because, you know, I, I know how court audit says, well, I got to do so many community <laughs> right. service hours. Yes. So I want to come to the program. So that's, that, that's not a community service type. No, it's all about the education. I, got, I, w I just want to distinguish that yes. because <laughs> as you're talking, I know in, in some people's mind, I do criminal law. Oh, okay. I manage a criminal defense attorney's office. Uh -huh. So I know once my clients get convicted, they have to go do community service yes. hours. Uh -huh. So I'm listening to your program and you say, well, you court mandated. So I want to make sure that they don't confuse that yes. with community oh. service hours as opposed to education and, and job training and, and job placements. Mm -hmm. uh, do you have referrals, job referrals? Yes, well, we work with the Urban League, and of course, they have so many connections, oh, wow. right. absolutely. And then we encourage our parent learners to go on, for, you know, for further education at Atlanta Tech or junior colleges or even a four-year college. We just want to push them so that they can become self-sustainable. You know, so these resources, y'all, it sounds like y'all have a, a plethora of, of resources. We really do. I mean, the, the names you just put out there was like, oh, my God. She's, yes. <laughs> not, not, how does it help you? Oh. Tell me a little bit, Brenda. How does Brenda fit into this? What was it? I want a parent who may be looking to get involved or a business that might want to connect with what you're doing. Uh, I want them to hear a personal testimony from you. Okay. So uh, I am a retired educator, okay. so I taught for 40 years, and at the end of my retirement, or the beginning of my retirement, oh. I wanted to do something very, very special, and I really love teaching, but being a director of the University for Parents, I tell you, I wake up every morning so excited about That's going awesome. to work, because I witness these transformations when I see families Mothers reuniting with their with That's their awesome. children. Just one stand out. Give, give me one. one I want out. one that I stand out. <laughs> okay. I want I want to feel it. Okay, this was one parent. She had, um, or she still has rather, seven children. Wow. So, so <laughs> she was she went through our program, 
and then she went on to attend a nursing program at Atlanta Tech. Really? And she's doing very well. So that's a testimony. So she went from barely scraping mm. right, right. the seven kids hoping for the best to right. now being self-sustained, right. self-supporting and her family is healthier for it. Absolutely, and she came to us with, you know, without even a GED. So she got her GED through us and then went on you know, to Atlanta Tech. So that was a major. I can see why you enjoy getting up, going to work oh, every day. I tell you, I, I just <laughs> love awesome. witnessing you know, parents being empowered, coming from such, such backgrounds that are, are so different from ours. And how does uh, mentoring the children help? That's a good question. Well, when Susan Taylor left Essence Magazine, she started the National Cares Mentoring Movement at Morehouse College, mm -hmm. you know, of course, in Atlanta. She left because she was so concerned about our children dropping out of school, wow. engaging in drugs, and failing on the standardized tests. And she said, I'm so tired of writing about this, I want to be about it. That's right. So she came to Morehouse College, and I saw this ad where she was coming, and I knew if her name was on it, I wanted to be involved. So I got involved from the beginning. And so what we did was she knew that in order to salvage our kids, mentoring would be the case because the research on mentoring shows that children who are mentored are more likely to graduate from school, less likely to get involved in drugs and alcohol abuse, and to get involved in gang violence. And of course, so we, we started the Atlanta Cares Mentoring Movement, mm -hmm. and now we have affiliates in 58 cities across the country. Have you all had a salvation experience? A sal in a terms salvation. of a, a child? Oh, yes. yes. Mm -hmm. We've had children who had run away from home, wow. who, dropped, who were dropouts. So yes, there's just That's so awesome. many stories, right. Mm -hmm. And then we had one student who was with us uh, he went on to graduate from Howard University with honors. That wow. is That's awesome. when you know you're making a difference in a child's life, yes. Wow. So well, we started I, out, I'm sorry. No, 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 what, what, I, what I'm hearing is that you're getting some fulfillment. Yes. Out of retiring as a 40-year educator. Yes. You reinvented yourself, but yet you're still operating in your gift of education. Mm -hmm. I am, I am, and, and I was so blessed. I have three grown children, all with advanced degrees. One is a corporate attorney, one is a um, professor at a university, and one is a CEO of a nursing home. Mm -hmm. I have been blessed. I feel so obligated to give back to the community. Exactly. And that's what drives me. I want other children to have the opportunities that my children have and had. And I think that's awesome that you have the passion to, you can't wait to wake up to help someone else. Yes. Because that's what Jesus did for us. Absolutely. And speaking of Jesus, did I mention we have an interfaith advisory council that is our rock for our program? Amen. Well, Tell us, how do we get in touch with you? How do we contact the organization? Well, our website is www.youforparents.org. One more time. www.youforparents.org. You my for e Parents. Yes. You for P-A-R-E-N-T-S dot org. Dot org. Okay. Yes. And is we invite grandparents, fathers, non-custodial fathers, neighbors, aunties, uncles, Anybody who's caring for a child is welcome to come. So it, what, what's your age limit as far as when you're talking about children and young adults? Do you have a limit, an age limit? For our parent learners? Not the parent learners. Oh, for the for, children? For oh, the children. They range from infants to about 16 or 17. Now, you said again, all this is free. Everything is Walk free. back through us. What's free again? Okay. We <laughs> offer free classes. We offer free child care free evening meals, free transportation, and even incentives for parent learners who have perfect attendance. Oh, that is and that awesome. website again is? www.youforparents.org. Wow. Girl, you have just given me some information. I had no clue that there was people like you in organizations such as University for Parents out there doing such a great work. I applaud you yes. for your diligence, your due diligence in what you're doing. And if there's anything we can do to help you, please uh, let us know. But I got your information. 
I will be contacting you myself as far as expanding this in the Atlanta market. I'm sure there's other churches that want to get involved, other businesses that may want to become sponsors. So, Brenda, I'm telling you, you've done a great job in yes. what you're doing. If there's one thing you'd like to share, what would it be? It would be mentor a parent and save a family. Wow. Mentor a parent and say, we can all do that. Yes. We can all do that. Right. It's We're looking for volunteers <laughs> to come in as mentors wow. and say, wow. Good. I applaud again you for your success in your program, the testimonies that you just told us about, and the work that you're doing and the different organizations that are touching the lives of families here in the Atlanta market. Mm -hmm. So God bless you. And thank you for coming and be with us tonight. Here at Atlanta Live, we enjoyed you as a guest, and you got so much, I can just see the joy in you. Yes. So, <laughs> hey, hang around. We're going to go back to the music. Call that number, 770-300-9828. Our prayer partners are waiting for your phone call. We want to bless you. We want to connect with you. Call that number, 770-300-9828. Our prayer partners will pick up that phone. They will listen to you. They will pray with you. Now, we're going to go back with Ed Hogg's I'm not tired yet. <laughs>
get tired of Jesus. Hallelujah. I tell you, God is doing a great work, and this is a season where God is doing great yeah. things, but I want you to call that number, 770-300-9828. We have our prayer partners here tonight. Now, you understand, our prayer partners come from different places in Atlanta to be here to take those calls. If you have a church or you are an individual that want to volunteer in our prayer room, please call during business hours. Ask for Ms. Wadner Helms. She can connect you with our prayer partners, and you can be in our prayer room, and you too can help serve the great Atlanta area by praying for people. So call that number, 770-300-9828. I know personally, we work in the prayer room. I love working in the prayer room. We didn't, we didn't just become a host. We started in the prayer room. So if your ministry is looking to get involved, it's a great place to talk. Yeah, what you think about that? That's right. I think that's amazing, being faithful. Amen. Faithfulness is awesome. And listen to what John 3.16 says. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son yes. that whoever so believe in him will not perish but have eternal life. Amen. And tonight, if you want that eternal life, call that number, 770-300-9828. Let our prayer partners pray with you and connect you to God. Amen. We love you and we want you to be blessed. And that's what this whole ministry is all about here at WATC. Call that number, 770-300-9828. Now we're going to go to the phones. Good evening. My name is Jackie Lance from the Love Center, where I'm standing here in TV 57 prayer room just waiting to pray with you. We have anointed prayer warriors who are just here. Whatever your situation may be, remember there's nothing too hard for God. Call us at 770-300-9828. And for those of you who need salvation, remember Romans 10, 9 and 10 reads, If thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and shalt believe in thine heart that God has raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. So if you just stop right where you are and pray this simple prayer with me. Father, I know that I'm a sinner, and I ask you to forgive me. I believe Christ died for me, and God has raised Jesus from the dead. I want to turn from my sins, Jesus, come into my heart, and be my personal Lord and Savior. I promise to obey you and follow you all the days of my life. Amen. Just call us at TV 57. That number is 770-300-9828, where we have anointed prayer warriors who are just waiting to pray with you. Just remember, there's nothing too hard for God. Again, that number is 770-300-9828. 9828. Again, that number is 770-300-9828. We have anointed prayer warriors who are just waiting to pray with you. There's nothing too hard for God. Just call us at TV 57, 770-300-9828. And now, back to the studio. <laughs> Down through the years, I know the Lord been good to me. Oh, down through the years, I know the Lord been good to me. Sing a verse. Yeah. Mm, said he took my feet out of the mire clay. I know the Lord been good to me. Said he took my feet out of the mire clay. The Lord been good to me. <coughs> said he took my feet out of. And he 
to you call that number 770-300-9828 we have honey we have a special guest today yes. titania huff amen miss huff i understand you got this big conference coming up girl yes the anointing is going to explode at this conference absolutely tell us all yes. about what's coming up absolutely i'm so excited to be here thank <laughs> you for having me so um my conference i am affirmations of an empowered woman is coming and th we just thank god for being the source to provide the resources for women in business uh, to come out and really be really fed be fueled and be filled uh, wow. with uh, just connections collaborations um, get really get information on uh, building their businesses, their brands, and really, really building a, a, a sustainable brand for their business. Okay, so we're talking about entrepreneurship. Absolutely. For women. Absolutely. Because the women are strong, the man is strong. Absolutely. Hallelujah. I'm going to receive that in Jesus' name. <laughs> so I'm standing between, it seems like two, two powerful women here. So, so the Lord has used your conference to Absolutely. empower women to build businesses Connect with with resources. Connect resources. Uh, so if if I'm coming to the conference, mm -hmm. uh, if I want, if I'm a head of a women's ministry, mm -hmm. and I want to get the women of my local church to to sign up for this conference, tell us all uh, how would you do it. Well, so the women at the conference can actually, the women wanting to come to the conference can look uh, forward to a VIP all access day, and what that does is that allows them to really have a dive a deep deep dive into uh, their entrepreneurship. We'll talk about branding. We'll talk about uh, developing their, their, their businesses. We'll talk about a, there's going to be a full day mastermind. And here is the most amazing thing. God is so good. God has connected me with someone who is an expert to help women, to, who's coming in to help women to uh, become nationally certified. Really? Wow. Yes. So they can become nationally certified. They give information about becoming nationally certified. And um, they are provided with that information and, and not a lot of women 
are certified as, as women-owned businesses. So that's really what makes us different and what sets us apart from other conferences because Lord knows we know there are a lot of conferences, but yes. we are here to provide those resources and make sure that you walk away with what you need to truly grow and sustain and build your business. And so we're really excited and we're so really you're blessed. meeting the needs. Absolutely. We're meeting the needs of women in the community and because we know that women are the are the backbone and are, are the help me. Uh, we, you know, we are helping women to build up, build up those legacies for their children as well. So, the, you know, really want to get the word out to the community because we we can't we just can't hold it to ourselves. Uh, so, when is the conference? So, the conference is going to be March twenty third, two thousand and nineteen, and then we're going to hold it at um, our co working partner space. So, Cornerstone Co working, March twenty third. Cornerstone Co working. Where is that located? Lawrenceville, Georgia. So Cornerstone Coworking, 279 West Krogan Street in Lawrenceville, Georgia. Give that address again. 279 West Krogan Street in Lawrenceville, Georgia. West Krogan Street. Yes. What's the website? So the website is www.learntoliftps.com. That is learntoliftps.com. Learntoliftps.com. So what does lift mean? So lift is, is, is an acronym that God gave to me when I started my business, and mm -hmm. it really uh, spoke to my heart. It's a, for, it stands for live, lead, intentionally, faithfully, and truthfully, um, because we are a faith-based uh, organization. Mm -hmm. uh, everything that we do is, is really for the glory of God. So you're unapologetic it. about that. Absolutely. That's right. So when women come, they got to not only get the entrepreneur uh, information, but they're going to get a spiritual empowerment. Absolutely. We're going to pray. We're going we're gonna to feed you. We're going to fuel you. And uh, <laughs> we are going to fill you with resources. And, and, and it's all for the glory of God and really uh, to, to build up his kingdom. That's now, right. is this your inaugural conference? No, actually, you... this is our third year conference. So okay. we're really excited so, to just, I mean, we're taking business. If you are, if, if there's a woman out there ready to take her business to the next level, she wants to be there. Give us some testimonies from the previous ones. So we had a, our previous conference, we had a woman who, she came to the conference, she didn't even know. She kind of stumbled upon it. That was our inaugural <laughs> conference. She stumbled upon it and she left just feeling empowered and she said she's left feeling unstoppable and um, she said God was truly in the building and that was the best compliment we could have ever gotten because like I said, this conference is really for the glory of God and the upliftment of his kingdom and so that we can have women to really build up their brands and their businesses and build a legacy so for the future. So give us an idea. When I, as, as a person coming on, on campus, mm -hmm. you being in charge of all of this, uh, I know you're going to be running around with a lot going on. Listen, I love to give hugs. Okay. So you come in, you, you <laughs> register, you come in, we, I'm going to give you a, a nice hearty hug. My, the tribe is going to hug you. That's what we call the, the women who are involved in the conference. We really call them a tribe because once you're in, we gonna, we're going to love on you. We're going to yes. always look out for you. And that is really what it's about. That's Cause they come and looking for you now, remember. And I'm that's why I'm bringing it out because I know if, if, if I walked into a conference that I've heard on Atlanta Live and, and you're telling us all about this thing, when I get there, I'm looking for you. Listen, I might even print up a free shirt, this, uh, shirt that says free hugs. <laughs> I love to give hugs. I love to, I'm a very personable person. And so I love to, to reach out and, and give these resources mm. to the community and women in the community. And I love to give hugs and I love to check up on women. And, and so this is, this is just, um, an embodiment of who really, who I really am. And, so it and seems, it seems that. like to me that you really want them to feel loved. Absolutely. Everyone really? should feel loved. Mm -hmm. Actually, our theme is uh, level up your love, yes. leadership, and legacy. Wow. Say that one more time. Our theme is level up. I'm your a man. I'm slow. So <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> Absolutely. Our theme is level up your love, legacy, and leadership. Well, wow. now, who, who helped you put this together? I know you got a few names you'd like to give a little shout out to. Absolutely. I definitely have to give a shout out to my, my mother, Glenda Huff. She's um, an amazing, I call her my road dog. She's really? So she, every, every well, hold on. You know, she just said my mother. Now, you know, it's very uncommon for women today to do what you just did. Well, Cause they like always want to take credit for it, but they never give the credit to those who have helped lift them. Absolutely. And what you just said, bless my spirit. When you said, I want to give honor. I want to give that shout out to my mom. That, that was beautiful. Thank you. That shows the kind of person you are. So women coming to your conference are going to meet this type of person. Absolutely. A person that holds their mother in high esteem. 
Absolutely. So give us a little bit more about who else that you like to make sure that they meet when they come to the conference. Oh my gosh, there are going to be so many dynamic women, so many dynamic speakers. There are going to be, um, there is a young lady, and, and, and let me just say this, whether you're um, between the age of 18 or 80, um, there's a young lady by the name of Maya Penn. She is a, an anomaly. She's 18 years old. Mm -hmm. She started her company at the age of eight, and now she's a filmmaker. She's a part of Oprah Super Soul 100. We have April Beverly. She is one of, she's the million dollar word stylist, and so she helps women to build that content. Really? To really spark up their, to, uh, she says, to spark up their sentences. I can't say it the way <laughs> she does, but, you know. And then we also have uh, women who, uh, like Elle Ross, who are going to help women to build up their minds, their bodies, their spirits. Mm -hmm. uh, we have uh, financial literacy, funding. Mm -hmm. So, uh, cert and again, we, we're bringing in that certification expert to help women to become nationally certified so they can secure those sponsorships from different companies that they normally, if you're not certified, would, um, they normally wouldn't, wouldn't even touch look. You. They wouldn't touch you. So the funding you're talking about, that's part of that, that whole seminar. Absolutely. Teach. So the seminars are all free or what was, is there a cost involved? Well, let, let me tell you, there is, you know, the, the, the Lord, we have to invest in ourselves. Amen. And so there is an investment. So I want to give our, our, our watch, our viewers today a, a code and that is, I am ready to the number two soar so they can come and get their free uh, not free to get their um two-day vip all access pass so that code again is i am ready the number two soar okay i'm ready the number two soar exactly and, and if they go to the website and if they go to the www learn to lift learn the number two lift ps.com they'll be able to register and and type in that code. Now, for those who may not be uh, web-based, and, and is there a number they might can call? Is there a cell number or a phone you know number? What? Absolutely. They can call me directly. There you and go. my phone number is 678-631-6882. Absolutely. Now, that number's not for a hookup. It's for the conference. It's for the conference. I want to make sure that's clear <laughs> to my viewers. Don't be calling and trying to hook up. This is a conference number. It is for So the you conference. call that number, it's for the conference. And listen, if you want to get in on some workshops after the conference, we have that available too. So you can call after, you know, after the conference for some workshops. We have monthly workshops, monthly masterminds. Mm -hmm. But the conference is what we're really here for. If you want to kind of uh, excel your growth in your company, ex excel uh, in, in developing your company, then the conference is where you want to be because you're going to build all kinds of connections with amazing women mm -hmm. and uh, who are really heavy hitters in their industry. And that's and what it's about. Go ahead. And what role does your faith play in this entrepreneurship Everything. journey? Everything. I go to, and, and this is a um, shameless plug because I love my church. So uh, Fresh Starch Church is, is, a, is a, I love my church. Fresh Start Church. Fresh Start Church. Who's your Louis. pastor? My pastor is Marquise Boone. Amen. Pastor Marquise Boone. And we're a very entrepreneurial church. And the church and is located? So, church is located at, um, it's, it's in Duluth. Okay, <laughs> So I go to Fresh Start Church. Mm -hmm. uh, Fresh Start Church. Dot com. So. I got you. So y'all are having a great day of fun. Absolutely. Great day of resourcing. Absolutely. She said the tribe, not a community, the tribe. Uh, that that kind of got me right there. You said the tribe. <laughs> it's all about tribe. It's all about building and strengthening so, that But tribe. The, the tribe concept is, is, is about inclusivity. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So nobody's left out. Nobody's right. left out. So now, now what about if, if you're dealing with, uh, you got the business already going, but you just need to have some some more foundation. That's what the conferences will do. The conference will absolutely uh, help you with getting more foundation for your business. Absolutely. For what about those who may need credit repair to get the business going? We have resources for that as well. We have women who actually it's their, it's their life to help other women to repair their credit. I, you know, I know a lot of people say I love to start a business, but my credit is not quite where I wanted to be because of past. Uh, issues that, that mm -hmm. now I know better. Now I'm, I'm more understanding of this. So the whole process is, is... And let me tell you, the purpose of Lift Professional Services, which is my company, is to help women to dispel lies of self-doubt and to take limits off their dreams. So there is nothing, and, and as a faith-based organization, there's nothing that is too hard for God. And so we want to make sure that women really understand that, really take grasp of mm -hmm. that. 
an understanding. There's no, you know, take the limits off your dreams. There's nothing too hard for God and dispel lies of self-doubt. That's why it's called I Am. And it was actually started with the, just a simple conversation in, in, uh, in one of my family members' houses. And they were just saying, hey, um, I am this age. There's no way I can do this or um, I have this many children. There's no way I am uh, able to get married or whatever at my age. And so I, I just started with a simple statement with saying, hey, why don't you just turn that around? Because we're That's so right. used of we're so used to telling uh, or listening to what other people, who other people say we are. We need to start really affirming who we are. And that's, that's really right. why the name came about. And it's I am. And you put in that dot, dot, dot. And that's whatever you are. I am a conqueror. We have women who says, who say I am a conqueror. I am a survivor. I am an anomaly. I am made in the image of God. And that is really what the conference is about. Amen. Uh, and this conference, all of this information worked in your life. It helped you establish your business. Absolutely. And you got your own foundation, so now this is your way of giving back. Absolutely. I, 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 I have to. Amen. Amen. I have to. And you give all God, you give all the glory to God. It's for the glory of the kingdom. Wow. We got about 30 seconds left, so I want you to in, just invite them right now. Go ahead, look at that camera, invite everybody to your conference. Ladies, if you are in business for yourself, if you're looking to start your business, come out and Get a hearty hug from me at I Am Affirmations of an Empowered Woman, March 23rd. And it is at Cornerstone Coworking, www.learntoliftps.com. Come and see me. Hey, man. Thanks for being with us tonight. Thank you. Oh, wow. <laughs> Listen, it's not too late to call that number. Call that number, 770-300-9828. May God bless you. Don't go away. We're coming back on the second half hour. God bless you. Welcome back to Atlanta Live. We have with us Harold McCourt. Harold, you've been killing that uh, Hammond B3. Brother, I <laughs> love the way you play. You just anointed. Honey, you know, as we're sitting there listening to him, come on, give us a background. What, what's well, going first on? First of all, I thank you, and you see me blushing, but don't tell anybody. <laughs> <laughs> I, I um, originally from Stanford, Connecticut. I okay. came up in Church of God in Christ. Church with James Moore, Twinkie Clark, all these people played at the church. Right. Michael Brooks, so you had to either play or get out of the way. Amen. It was that, that and easy. when you played, well, thank you, you, you learned your craft. We thank God. We thank you know, God. Now, now, viewers, I'm going to be honest with you. We've been together before, so I'm a little biased. I'm a little biased. Why but... won't you stay biased? <laughs> <laughs> I'm a little biased. But, but 
What's, what's your latest project? What you got, what you working on? Well, what I'm working on now, we have True Praise Radio, which we were nominated for Stella. We're having our first award show in August. Okay. But what I'm really happy, I'm doing my first comedy show before that, on the same August 3rd. Wait a minute, hold on, you, you're comedy. trying to diversify all the time? You told me to you, do you, it. You're trying to, okay. <laughs> I'm follow, I'm stepping following out what the what box, said. stepping out the said. box. Yes. But see, that's a gift. And then we talked about that. God yes. gives us so many different gifts. Right. And you can keep that gift hidden on the shelf, or right. you can pull it off the shelf and put it to good use. Well, you know, I dust that shelf off and reached and got it. Amen. And we, we, we're going to put it to some use. And, so, I'm, and I want you to be there. Now, I'm going to bring this back. You no, said I want you to be there. nominated for a stellar. <laughs> yes, sir. Now, what was that project that brought the nomination? That was for me in radio, my station, as well as hosting. Oh, wow. In radio. So you've been busy. I've been real busy. I'm trying to be like you. <laughs> Brother, I'm going to tell you something. God is good. Yes, he is. All the time. Yeah, but, Isn't but, that what they you say? Know, but that's what I like. And, and that's what I met when I first met you. You was in your season. Yes, sir. And, and, and when you're in that, you got to seize the moment. Mm -hmm. Right. Because that season comes and goes. And goes. And then time for war is a time for peace. Yes. Mm -hmm. And a time to work and it's time for rest. Yeah, you go. And right now, you are in the harvest and you're receiving that blessing. So tell me, how can you encourage other men and women who might be sitting on sidelines wondering, what can I do with this gift? I'm saying, listen to people that are like this, positive people. Believe in yourself, and if you feel you can do it, go ahead and do it. As long as it's positive, it can happen. It can happen, but you got to believe in yourself and surround yourself. I have people that are surrounding me, Vera, uh, Chris, Diane, who's with me today. They're all here, and they're all pushing me. When I'm down, they push me. Get around positive people, and it makes a difference. And then you got to keep the Lord first. Oh, yes. keep that's, first. The, that's, that's first. That's, that's, that's keep right. First. But you know, when Amen. we met the last time, you, you said something that really stuck with me. You may not start off being the best. Right. But if you put the work in. Yes. You put the practice. Music is practice. Yes. You know, yes. it's not repetition. Right. It's practice. Right. Because, you know, I know a lot of people can quote scripture from Genesis to Revelation, yes, they but can. they never live it. There you go. They never live it. So my thing is just knowing right. that mm -hmm. it's not enough. Putting the time in. I, I've seen the, the fruits of your labor. Well, I appreciate so, it. So right now. What, what you expecting? What, what are you expecting God to do next? We're expecting God to enlarge our territory. We've done Detroit. We've done Chicago. We're going to New Orleans next month. Amen. We're going to Virginia. We're going to Connecticut, going to New York. And that's nobody but God. So if somebody wanted to book you for a conference or they want the, to get their The RealHaroldJ.com. The RealHaroldJ.com. Not the fake one. The real HaroldJ.com <laughs> or DeLoreMusic.com or Holler Real Loud, I hear you. <laughs> That's country talk. That's right? country talk. You know how we do. That country talk right there. I got you. August third, August third, Montgomery, Alabama. Laugh for real. The comment. I, I'm naming it. I might be talking about you, and I probably will be. Amen. But we're looking for everybody there. Montgomery, Alabama, Capri Theater. It's at somewhere on Fairview Avenue. And we and we pray that people get saved through oh, your yes. ministry. Oh, it's clean comedy. That's right. I want to say that. It's That's clean right. comedy. <laughs> so you, you, can bring, well, but, you can bring your children. But see, okay, but knowing amen. your spirit, it's not going to be but God. Yes, sir. And yes, sir. But see, that's character. Well, I appreciate that's integrity. It. Now, my parents would love to say, say that in the camera. So that <laughs> <laughs> that's character and integrity. Because I really, I really believe that when you're in your season. Yes, sir. And you're trusting in the Lord. Mm -hmm. You mm -hmm. can't do nothing but succeed. There you go. Well, I received that. Everything, with that song, everything attached to me mm -hmm. wins. And I believe, how the people that's around you are winning because you have been faithful. Well, thank and you've you. been faithful not only to your music, you've been faithful to your craft. And your craft is many different talents. You're not limited to just one thing because God gives us so many gifts. Mm -hmm. Now, if you had to pull one specific uh, nugget out of what you're doing right now that, that makes you happy. What, what would it be? Making people happy. Making Amen. people laugh. Amen. Now, we got, we got about a minute. Okay. I want you to make sure that know how to reach you because I know people want to book you. I know people want some of your material. Give us that website again. It's therealharoldj.com. H-A-R-O-L-D. Harold J, the letter J. Therealharoldj.com or Delora. D-L-O-R-A-H music.com, which is Harold Backwards, and you can get us, or you can contact right here at my favorite place, W-A-T-C, TV 57, 
And they can find me. I'm plugging my station. This Amen. is my station. Amen. Right Amen. Here. Amen. This is home. This is home. This, this is, is home. This is what put me and on the map. I, right I said, here. when I saw you tonight, I'm like, man, we're going to have a great time yeah. tonight. When I, I saw I you, I knew we, it was going to be great. We were here before, and you almost cut a step up. <laughs> I'm cutting another one. <laughs> Listen, I'm going to get out your way and yes, let sir. you do what you do. God is doing a great work in your life, brother. Yes, I'm sir. just glad to be a part of your relationship that we have. It's awesome. I and appreciate I want to continue you. saying, God bless you, brother. God bless you. Let God get bless out you. Way. Go on, do All what you right. do. No need to complain because God has it all under control. Amen. Amen. And our next guest has written a book, We Need to Pray. Sister, how you doing tonight? I'm doing great. How y'all doing hey, tonight? Amen. Yes. Well, welcome back to Atlanta Live. I know you've been here before, yes. but tonight you got a special project. Yes. I want you to introduce uh, yourself and, and tell everybody about this wonderful project. Yes, my name is Elder Barbara Green, and God has blessed me to write a book, We Need to Pray. Amen. And as we know that we definitely need to pray, is that every time we need to pray, now is the time. Amen. 
Amen. Now, the, the, why the book, We Need to Pray, means you are a prayer warrior. Yes. You understand intercessory prayer. Yes. You understand yes. calling on the name of Jesus. Yes, yes. So give us a little, a little uh, background of, of how this project came to existence. Well, actually, the book had, um, I started a couple of years ago trying to get the book started, but how many know that God's timing is everything? Yes, it Amen. is. And so I was trying to say, God, I know you have called me to prayer. You called me to be an intercessor. And at one point, I didn't know what an intercessor was until one of the first ladies my, at my previous church, she called me out and said I was an intercessor. I knew I was praying for people, you know, standing in the gap, but I didn't know what intercessor meant. And so a couple of years ago, God just birthed this into me to go ahead and start writing the book. And I said, okay, God, I'll be obedient. But I just couldn't seem to get it together. But then God connected me. I went to Bible study at a church in Fayetteville. Uh, her name is uh, now it's Bishop Mar Marlon Thomas, mm -hmm. and uh, she was we was talking and she was sharing, and I said, "Wow, I know God has this book in me, but I don't know what to do from here. But I'm just going to continue to trust God." And I said, "God, by the end of the year, I need this book to be written, to be done." So she connected me with the publisher, whomever I needed to get with, and I tell you, God just moved quickly on that book, and this is how this book Amen. has come to pass. Amen. Amen. So, so Barbara, in the book, I'm sure there are some nuggets. Yes. So let's let our viewers kind of get a sneak peek at what's in this book. Give us give us a few nuggets out of the book. Yes. One of the things is we need to know what prayer is. Amen. Okay. I'm one of those persons. I I do a lot of word searching. I need to know if I'm a pray. What is prayer? So prayer is communicating with God. Mm -hmm. Not only communicating with yeah, God, no. but God in turn communicating with you. Amen. And so there comes a time that we're always talking, but it comes a time when we need to listen. Amen. There are two principles. There's a, a, a talking principle, then there's a listening principle. Then we need to hear. We need to listen to what God is saying because he's speaking, but are we listening? And so this is what uh, prayer is. It's a dialogue. This is between two per peoples here. And so we need to listen to what God is saying because he's definitely talking and saying things in this season that he never said before to us here. And so when we pray, we ne just need to, you know, communicate. And this is like intimate with God, having that intimate relationship with him. Amen. You know, just believe and say, when I pray, you're talking to your daddy. You're That's talking right. to your father, okay? And what better pl person uh, uh, to talk to is your father. And one thing about our father, he's going to take good care of his children. And his, our father wants to hear from us. We are so busy doing so many other different things. But God say, can I need to hear from my children. I already know what's going on, but I just need you to come and talk to me. And so this is what this prayer book is all about. And God has given me a, a, a passion for this prayer. And I mean, God is just really blessed with prayer because there's an anointing to pray. And I know that and God get all the glory, the honor, and the praise. Not only pray, but getting results. I said, Lord, I need results when yes. I pray. And so when I pray, or when not, not me, but when the Holy Spirit used me to pray, and I believe by faith that it's already done in Jesus' name. Not that it's going to be done, but it's already done. So I'm just waiting for the manifestation of that. And so this is what I just believe God. Wow. Just so, believe so by your faith. Book, so this book here is something that's going to introduce you and teach you how to pray, how to listen, and give you directions. This is like. exactly what it is here. And not only that, there are so many more nuggets in the book here because it talks about the different types of prayers. It talks about what hinders our prayers. Mm -hmm. It talks about preparation for prayer. And I'll talk a little bit about preparation for prayer because in this time that we're in, we prepare for everything. When, we, when it's a birthday party, we go all out the way to That's prepare right. for that. When there's a wedding, we're going to prepare for that. But when we come to God, we need to get in preparation. We, we just can't come to God any kind of way. <laughs> so right. we need to come to Him. You know, we need to come to Him. And if we have any unconfessed sins in our That's heart, right. we need to ask God to forgive us, you know, before we can That's enter into His go courts, we to, before we can enter into His courts pray. We need to come clean before him and say, God, I need you to search my heart. I need you to forgive me for all the things that I've right. said, done, or thought that wasn't pleasing to you. I repent right now. I'm not talking about nobody else, but Lord, I need you to clean me up right me. now because I don't need nothing to hinder my prayers. And so these are things here, unconfessed sins. And there are other things in the book here that also that can keep us from getting to God, hindering our prayers. Mm -hmm. And one of them is that 
unforgiveness, which yes. is a huge one. And unforgiveness, it stems from bitterness, resentment, hatred, grudge. All these things can stop your prayers, okay? Yes. And so we got to make sure that God making sure that we are clean. Search me, Lord. If you find, not if you find, but when you find. When you find. When you Amen. find it. Take it out, Lord God, because Amen. I need you to, I don't need nothing to block my destiny. I don't need nothing to block my purpose here. And so it's me, oh Lord, standing in the need of prayer. And so then when God go in and clean us up, and then that's when we can enter into his presence. That's because right. he said when we enter, enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his court with praise. And so then we can begin to go into the holy of holiness, okay? Mm -hmm. And so we got to make sure that we doesn't have anything that is going to block us. And re repentance, we need to repent, totally repent from whatever it is that God, right. that we are doing that is not pleasing to God. And so God already know, and we can't fool God, mm -hmm. but we know God already know, but we got to be real with ourselves here. Mm -hmm. And there's another one here is, uh, we also talk about doubt. And these are things that hinder our prayer. Doubt. And we know Thomas, doubting Thomas, he was a doubter, okay? And there are so many others that was doubter. But we want to make sure that whatever God says in his word, that it shall come to pass. That's right. And so we got to believe by faith that if God said it, it shall come to pass. God is not a man that he should lie, nor the son of man that he shall repent. If he said it, it shall come to pass. That's and right. so there are so many that may be doubting tonight here, but it's time for us to reverse that doubt with faith. Mm -hmm. Because the word of God said we must walk by faith and not by yes. sight. And Hebrew 11 1 says now faith. We're talking about now because we are living in the That's present right, right now. We yeah. need some right now faith for some right now situations. Amen. Amen. So Hebrew 11 1 says now faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. Mm. Amen. So we can't see faith, but can we just believe that whatever God said, it shall come to pass. Amen. Amen. That's now, right. we want to get this book, How Can We Contact Elder Green? Okay, you can go to www.bgprayerbook.com. One more time. www.bgprayerbook.com. Now, if there's somebody out there that's been saying, Elder, I've been praying and I hadn't heard from God. I've been praying. I hadn't seen God. Now, I heard you talk about things that hinder our prayers. Mm -hmm. So first thing you might want to do is talk to that viewer who may be saying, I've been praying, I've been praying, I don't see nothing. How would this book help them find that answer? Okay, we have to make sure that we are praying the word of God. And there whatever you go. his will is, because we can yes. pray, but if it's not lining up with his will, which is his word, That's then right. God doesn't hear. But we have to make sure it's lining up with his word. And we have to make sure that we are lined up with his word, okay? So stop right there, see? Mm -hmm. And that's what I want our viewers to hear. Mm -hmm. And that's beautiful. What The way you just <laughs> put that together was beautiful. Wow. Because a lot of people just want to pray. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, you know, and this is not McDonald's. Results. This is right. Arby's. This, mm -hmm. this is not fast yeah. food here. Right. You're talking about you want the awesome, powerful God, like our prayer partners. People mm -hmm. calling our prayer line tonight. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They're calling and asking our prayer partners to pray with them. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. I, I want you to, again, share with the viewers mm -hmm. how to get those unanswered prayers mm -hmm. answered. Because this book, mm -hmm. How to Pray, yes. We Need to Pray, yes. talks about how to connect with God. Yes, yes. We also need to have faith. We must believe that God's going to do what he said he's going to do. But God's timing is everything. It not mean that he's not going to answer your prayer, but his mm -hmm. timing is everything. But we need to do our part as well. God's going to do his part, but we need to do our part as well here. Okay, and so that doubt, unbelief, fear, all these things can keep us from getting to where God wants us to be for his prayer. Here. And I like what you said, according to his will, according because his it could, we could be praying our will. That's God, right. you know, a lot of people want what they want, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but it's according to God's will. Yes, and God is going to answer the way he wanted. That's right. And he may say yes, no, he may say wait. Oftentimes we say, God, hear and answer my prayer. We think it's going to be a yes all the time, but not necessarily because <laughs> God knows what's best for each and That's every right. one of us. And the word of God tells us to be anxious for nothing, but through prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, That's right. make your requests made Lord. known unto the Lord. Yes. Okay, so once we do that, we just have to trust God every step of the way. And if God said no, then we just have to just praise him while we're in the waiting room. That's right. Okay? Have you ever really sought the Lord and he told you no? Yes, I have. And the reason why I ask that question, because I want them to hear this. Yes. Here's yes. a woman who wrote the book, We yes. Need to Pray. Mm -hmm. 
and you have prayed. Yes. And God told you no. Yes, yes, yes. But how did you process that? You know what? Because I know when your father, we have a yes. great father, our father. I'm talking about our father. Amen. He is not going to tell us anything wrong. You know, sometimes right. we as our, earth, our earthly father, you know, when we want something, they may say, no, I'm not, it's, it's not, but we'll get upset. But God said, no, don't get upset because I know what's best for, for you. For you, Okay, That's so right. sometimes no means that, you know what, I have something better for you. Hallelujah. I have something great. Hallelujah. I have a better plan Amen. for you. That's right. But we want to go and we want to take it, this little small blessing right here. But God said, I have, I have a blessing even greater than you can yes. imagine or think here. He said, God, God is able to do exceedingly abundant above all we can act to think according to the power mm -hmm. that's working in us. And sometimes we're not ready for what God wants to bless and what we are praying for. God said, no, it's not time. But while you're in the waiting room, continue to pray, continue to believe that in time, I'm yes. going to do just what I said I'm going to do. Amen. Now we got about two minutes left. Mm -hmm. I want you to look in that camera. All right. Okay. With one light on. Okay. And empower someone. Give someone a word of encouragement and let them understand how prayer is valuable to them. Yes, I just want to encourage you tonight. I just want to encourage you tonight that the word of God says in Luke 18, 1, that men ought to always pray and not faint. So while you're praying, don't faint. Don't give up because giving up is not an option. The word of God tells us when we pray, we just got to believe by faith that whatever God said, that it shall come to pass. And so when we pray, we just got to, even while we're praying, while we're waiting on God, we just got to praise him even in the midst of the waiting. Amen. And so we just got, I want to encourage you tonight. Don't give up. Don't be weary in well-doing. But in due season, you'll reap if you faint not. So we thank God, you know, it, there is a due season. We know there's four seasons, but we adding a fifth season tonight, and that is a due season, okay? So if, while you're waiting, don't be discouraged. Amen. Continue to move. Don't stop moving. Don't give up. Look to Jesus, who is the author and the finish of your faith, and just know that prayer still works. The mm. affection, fervent prayer of a righteous man avail as much. So hold on. Help is already here. And but get you the book. And get the book. Amen. <laughs> Praise and God. And get the book. Amen. So please get the book. Call that number, 770-300-9828. The station here can connect you with Elder Green, and you can get this wonderful read. I'm wow. telling you guys, this is an anointed woman of God. Honey, I, I'm feeling this. Yes. I, I yeah. can sense the spirit of God. And like what you said, pray the word. Yes. Pray the word. Yes. And if you pray the word, God will bless you. God will anoint you. Yes. God will bring to pass yes. those things you've been waiting on. But call that number, 770-300-9828. We're going to go back to the music in just a second. But it's not too late for you to call that number. Yes. Please get that book by Elder Green. And that book is going to be a great resource. It talks about we need to pray. Pray tonight. Pray without ceasing. Yes. Call that number, 770-300-9828. Now we're going to go back to the music, and I'm telling you, you're going to love this one. Try Jesus by D.L. Hurd. the deal hurt. I tell you guys, I'm, a, I'm just excited because yes. when you start talking about prayer, mm -hmm. Elder Green, it, it does something to my spirit right. because right. a lot of people have given up on praying. Yes. They don't yes. believe in prayer. They, yes. they want to give a, a, a quick one, two, three, yes. and they want it instantly. Yes. But yes. I've had to wait on something. I've seen pray for mm -hmm. something and 50 years later, God showed up and blessed right. me. Yes. Yes. Honestly, yes. I've had to wait 50 years. Now, I've had some, we've had some quick prayers prayers answered. That's right. But we've also had to wait. Yes, yes. yes. You know? Amen. And then waiting, is a delay is not a, a, a no. denial. That's right, that's right. You know? That's and right. also, we just had a blessing not too long ago, um, last week, my Last fact, week, yeah. That wow. we had prayed about, yes. and um, we was told to wait on God, and yes. we was blessed with the van for our church. Praise God, praise God. Because we got a word. That's right. Because we got God a word. said, don't go buy one. My God. Someone going to give you four vans. Praise God. And, and, and we stood on the word, and we, and we have word. a That's brand it. new van. And, and I, you know, the, uh, the company, PKS, uh, PKS Concrete 
and Paving Company. Uh-huh. A business. My, my. Uh, Peyton Stallings, he's a business owner of PKS uh, mm -hmm. Paving and Concrete. Wow. That blessed us, but God used him to God bless used us. Him. He was obedient. Yes. And he Praise bought God. the church. He didn't go to my church. Oh, my God. He didn't even remember my church. The fame of God. That's it's right. Saved. That's what I'm saying. This but we right. prayed. We got a word, yes. and we waited on the word. Yes. It took us a Amen. few years for it to manifest. But you didn't move before God. But we, we did move. not, we was told not to purchase Don't, a van, and God. we did not purchase it. Thank God and for it was obedience. given to because us. Because the word of God says to us. So we have three more to go. Sacrifice. So we, we, <laughs> when, when the owner, awesome. and we was, we was, I was going through a, a situation that morning, mm -hmm. and but that by the afternoon, my God had turned it all around. Yes. What well, the enemy meant for evil, yes. God, God turned, turned it around, around for the good. good. And, yes, and yes. on a Friday afternoon, we uh, were blessed. Praise yes. God. So, so that's what I'm saying. It. God yes, will do will. it just like that. And I, and you gotta I trust Him every step of the way. Amen. And, and I love God. what you said. Pray oh, the word. Oh, and so many people need to open and that believe in your prayers and trust and sit and wait. That's it. It's not a microwave. Prayer. It's not, you put it in the not. microwave because if you put a biscuit in the microwave and you let it sit for about 30 minutes, it's hard as a brick. Yes. God don't want us hard yes. like oh, that. Oh my God, my God. <laughs> then we have to be specific in Yes. Our and then we That's have to pray right. strategically here. That's strategically. right. Strategically. Strategically. I love the way you put that. You got to have a strategy. You have a, the enemy has a strategy. And, and yes. we have we to have, have a strategy. Amen. And, and, I I think, and I think God wanted us to talk about this, to, this tonight. Yes, God. He yes, knows so. how to do it. Yes, yes, yes. But you know, now, now, <laughs> I, I saw you have your husband, Lewis. Yes. Now, now, now I'm sure when y'all get together, the Bible says we're at two is touch and agree. Yes, yes. You know, yes. and the fact that you're a strong praying woman, I know it makes him a better man. Oh, my God. Oh, my God is so, so awesome. Now, I depend and on mine. Praise God. And we're praying the word. We're praying Listen, the word. Yes. We love you guys. We can talk about this praise all God. night. Yes. Call that number, 770-300-9828. We enjoyed having Elder Green with us. Yes. And all our yes. guests tonight has been a great blessing to us. God loves you. God wants to bless you. Stay connected with WATC. We love you. You can call that number any time of the day, 770-300-9828. And God will bless you. Have a great night and know God is with you. Praise God.